we're here in New Orleans at the 50th ASHP Mid-Year Clinical Meeting talking with Dr. Sarah Wazirkowitz, who is the co-author of the new ASHP book, The Pharmacist's Guide to Antimicrobial Therapy and Stewardship. Dr. Wazirkowitz, where did the idea for this book come from? Well, the idea from this book actually stemmed from you know, really kind of seeing people struggle. Students, residents, even pharmacists who've been out for a number of years practicing, really struggling with infectious diseases and how to handle some basic questions that come their way. And so Carrie was actually my professor in pharmacy school who taught some of the antimicrobial lectures. And she had some of the information displayed very simply in tabular format that was easy. And during my fellowship training, I just added to that material because I felt like that was a really easy format to reference this material. I would add in clinical pearls as I would go. And then slowly but surely, more people were asking me for copies of my handout. And um, I started doing lectures for students right before they would go on rotation, utilizing this as a framework. And I still get phone calls to this day of preceptors saying, hey, my student's carrying around your worn out handouts. <laughs> um, and so I just want, thought that this was a way to really disseminate this information um, to make ID a little bit easier for people to utilize. What can a user find in your book that they're not gonna be able to find anyplace else? So I think the main advantage to this reference is really it's focused on the, the non-specialist. It's really for people who uh, want basic infectious diseases information, not only about the anti-infectives themselves, but also the disease state guideline specific information, but including clinical pearls. So some of the things that are really helpful to make um, stewardship interventions at the point of care. What should any pharmacist know about antimicrobial therapy? The thing about antimicrobial stewardship is that I feel like infectious diseases in general is oftentimes a, a gray area. There's not always a black and white answer. And so there's a very large push for antimicrobial stewardship um, considering the estimates of up to 50% of antimicrobial use in an acute care setting is often unnecessary or inappropriate. And so Really, I think everyone has a responsibility to be good stewards of antimicrobial utilization. And I feel like this reference can help people do that. It gives them basic information that they can develop the confidence in making that those recommendations to really contribute to uh, improved utilization of these, these agents. Tell us a little bit about yourself and how you got interested in this topic. You know, in pharmacy school, I was really struggling during therapeutics because not clinically, but just really finding that thing that, that I really was passionate about. And I enjoyed micro, I enjoyed immunology and stuff like that. All of my friends were getting excited about other disease states and the management of those disease states. And as soon as we hit infectious diseases, I was, that was my time. I just have always been fascinated with the fast paced nature of it. Um, the, the gray area um, and the, the problem solving that it takes to manage these complicated patients. Dr. Zerkowitz, thanks for your time. Thank you.